Hey, this is a, an explanation looking at the liquify tool using Scott McCloud's um, <clears throat> emotions. So Scott McCloud wrote a great book called Understanding Comics, and then the follow-up was called Making Comics. Phenomenal read if you ever get a chance. Um, but in it, he talks about emotions, so I thought we'd kind of play with them using the liquify tool. So you're going to open up this file. You'll have it in the background. And take a picture of yourself. Oh, look at that. Awesome. And I'm going to... Let's... You rasterize that layer. Let's go over here. Control, right click, rasterize layer. And let's use the marquee tool. Let's we'll see if I can delete part of it here. Yep, delete some of that. Actually, you know what would be better? Command D. Let's use that great tool, the quick select tool, to get rid of all this other stuff that we don't want. Oh, I'm in minus. I need to be in plus. Okay. So basically, you're going to cut out that image of yourself. And you don't need your neck beard if you have one like myself. Um, you just need the basic shape of your face. You know what? That looks fairly doable. Let's. Uh, um, let's go ahead and add this to the selection and I'll hit delete on everything except for my face and command E to deselect okay so you have the picture of yourself and let's go to liquify now what will be useful I'll just make this a little bit smaller that I didn't get it all you can see like all of it right there that's okay we can live with that for what we're doing. Um, what will be useful is to use the marquee tool and sort of select just this here and then hit shift command X to go to liquify. If you grab the whole thing, you're going to get um, the whole selection. You don't necessarily want that. Oh, let me hit cancel. Um, so the first one I, I want to do is I want to do anger. So there's anger right there. Um, so shift C, well, if you hit just shift command X like this, you'll get the whole thing. Um, but I want to get it where I have uh, both images. So, hmm, I gotta remember how to do that. Might... Well, we know what anger looks like, so we'll just have to go with that. You'll have to kind of reference it. Um, yeah, and, and uh, or you can do separate windows so we can break the windows out. But let's just do it like this. So. Uh, marquee, select my face, and shift command X. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. That's why. Okay, so anger, we can look at it like this. Here, so here's what you have. When you first come in, you probably don't have advanced mode selected. If you don't, you're gonna have these options. Um, this right here is, I think it's called the push forward tool. And play with your brush size. I'm currently at 120, I might go to 60. Uh, to you know, do what, what most of us think of with liquefy, you know. Look at that, oh, smiling chap. Uh, that's probably not what we're going to want to have here. But uh, let's, before we do any of that stuff, let's go ahead and click on advanced mode. You're going to get a few more options here. Um, so using that, we can kind of start making my eyes look a little more stern. Uh, I don't think that's what I want to do with my mouth. We can kind of make me look a little bit more frowny. But we have more tools to play with. Um, we have uh, the reconstruct tool. We won't need that. Let's go ahead and go to the bloat tool. The bloat tool like, lets you, if you click on something, you hold it down, you make it expand. So like that. And then I can use that push tool to kind of work my eyebrows a little bit more here. Okay. Looking pretty angry there. Uh, my nostrils might need to flare out a little bit. Um, so that's what the bloat tool is. The opposite, the pucker tool, does it kind of shrinks things up. So, so I have all that extra stuff there. So I can probably just shrink it down, make it a little, a little more like angry. Okay. And then another cool tool is this twirl clockwise um, clock tool. Um, 
it works. It's kind of an odd tool. I don't really enjoy using it very much. Uh, but if you hold down Shift Option, it will go the opposite way. So you can make it twirl in the other way. And if it twirls too much, you'll, you'll just go to the background. You can play with the brush size, your brush density and stuff. I think really just brush size will be fine. If you don't like what you've done, you can just hit Restore All. But when you're finished, uh, hit OK. And that part will be liquefied. Um, so I'd like for you to do, oh, I didn't grab that little bit of my hair, but that's okay, is I'd like for you to go through and liquefy your face to match all of these. This won't take very long. I just want you to get the practice of using it. If you have trouble knowing what these are, let me know. I'll be glad to uh, help you uh, go through that. Uh, but yeah, just kind of cover it up using your face uh, and use the same picture over and over.